Hey, Tubies. Oh my God. It's so fucking early in the morning. Who the fuck gets up before like four in the afternoon? I normally get up at like 11 or 12, but apparently I'm not allowed to sleep until this is made. So it was supposed to be made last night, but I was so tired. I'm just gonna put this over here. So I have to make an incense for tonight that's done after I communicate with the servitor, bless the servitor, feed the servitor, so on and so forth. Last night's fucking let's make an oil video was supposed to be like 17 minutes long and then the spirits were fucking around with me because they were all like, Oh, you know, we just want to be mischievous because we're douchebags. Give me a second. Ow. Fuck. Okay, I just had to burn some incense for these deities and make sure that they were here and also ask the spirits to be here because this incense, you don't burn in your fucking house, okay? I don't, I don't give a fuck what you say. You do not burn this incense in your house. Um, one of the deities that I work with is not pleased with my protection level, apparently. And so I'm supposed to make this incense and burn it tonight outside. And that will clear away any curses, any hexes, any magic, anything that was ever sent my way is basically null and void. And it's like, you're starting over, you're fresh. So it just ends anything that's in play and it just kind of sends it back and fucking deals with it from there. Um, and it takes a lot of ingredients, apparently. I was laying in bed at, like, 6 o'clock in the morning, and this fucking thing was, like, going through my head, and it was like, okay, 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 can I sleep now? No? Oh, okay. God. Got my trusty crystal here, because crystals are fun. Um, this oil, I ended up continuously working on it last night. So when I was doing that video for you guys, turns out that that video turned into like an hour long fucking let's make an oil video. And I mean, like, can we not, can we not have another hour long video? Can we just, can, can the spirits just like, let me do this in like 20 minutes or something? Like calm the fuck down, calm the fuck down. So I'm going to put in some cayenne. Because we want to burn. We want to burn a bitch. And this isn't like... This shit's not... Like, I never do this shit at any one particular person. I'm just like, anything... From what I was told, anything that's been done to me, anything that's been sent my way, any, like, negative vibes, any, like... Any just... Whether it's online, whether it's offline, whatever it is... Any spirits, any entities, it's like everything will just fucking vanish. And it's done. It's, it's, it's over. And it's like, no. 
And one of the deities I work with is really good at making shit just fucking disappear. So, uh, we're gonna put in some juniper berries. Because I like my juniper berries. I'm gonna put in some ginger. This time they want ginger. They didn't want ginger last night, but they want ginger now. So we're just gonna put in some ginger. About three pinches worth of. <sighs> How y'all doing today? You excited for the full moon? I know I am. Just gonna stir that around. Stir it around. And a little bit of this incense is gonna go a long way, but I'm gonna fill up this thing. Oh, it has a hole in the bottom. What the fuck? This is a hole in the bottom. What the what the fuck? Well now I can't now I can't use this jar. Well, suck a fucking pig's dick. I have a jar elsewhere that I will use. It's like a bigger jar, but I don't give a fuck. I need to make a lot of this incense because I have to burn it for three full moons straight. Or is it every full moon? Should only have to be done once. I don't have any enemies on YouTube. So I'm just like, what the fuck? Okay, well, I'm just gonna make this small. I'm just gonna make a small amount then because fuck that business. I just have to remember what I put in it so I can write it down later. Uh, we're gonna put in some paprika. I'm just gonna put in like as much paprika as I want. The reason I'm saying not to burn this in your house is because, hello, paprika on a coal with fucking cayenne pepper and red peppers? Yeah, that's just a fucking disaster. Learned that the hard fucking way. Thought a pinch on a coal wouldn't be so bad. No. Fucking made me cough, made the cats go crazy, and I was like, okay, everybody get the fuck outside. Get the fuck outside. We'll air the place out. Um, I'm gonna put in some eye bright because I want to see what I'm blind to. I want to see what I am blind to in terms of people sending shit my way. I want basically to open up my eyeballs, you know, because it always seems like whenever someone sends shit my way, my eyeballs are always fucking closed. Uh, we're gonna put in some shiracha. Again, remember, we're sending this shit back, so we want it to, like, go back with, like, a fucking bang. Whatever's out there, whatever came my way over the last, you know, year or whatever, you know, you can cleanse and you can sage and you can, like, do all kinds of fucking shit, but it's not gonna fucking matter. Let's just enchant this while we're at it. Okay, so we got the big heavy hitters in there. We got some spices, we got some eye bright, we got some ginger, we got some juniper berries. What else do we wanna put in there? Oh, somebody put on, on, on a comment on my last video about how something about poltergeist or whatever, and they just follow, you know, everybody's path is different. Not everybody has crazy ass fucking spirits like I do that decide that it's time to fucking open all the cupboards because I did not burn patchouli for them. Um, I mean, there are some like, some people just have like super peaceful, super quiet practices where like nothing ever happens in the way of like spiritual activity other than, you know, they feel the presence of their god or goddess, you know? 
And then I was thinking about this last night. We're gonna put in some slippery elm bark to shut any b bitches up that might be talking trash about me because fuck those bitches. Um, what the fuck was I saying now? I can never remember what I'm talking about. It's so early in the morning, I can never remember what I'm talking about. Somebody tell me. Oh, I know what it was. Um, so yeah, there's like, you know, quiet paths, you know, where it's not like fucking crazy because not everybody works with the same shit that, you know, I work with or Billy Bob down the street works with. Some people, you know, they work with just the earth and they just feel the earth's present. And then there's people like me who fucking work with like spirits and demons and dark gods and like f all kinds of fucking shit. And it's like my house is on fire 24 seven, 365 and it just never ends. And it's like, that's fine. You know, like that's everybody's path is different. Not everybody works with the same God or goddess or set of. And as a result, not everybody's path is going to be like, you know, super noisy, super loud or whatever. But you'll definitely feel the presence of your deity and your, or deities or your spirits or whatever it is that you work with. Um, so yeah, I'm also being told right now that this would be really great as an oil, but I have nothing to put it in. So yeah, there's that. So we're just gonna burn this as an incense. So the other reason that you don't want to burn this inside, aside from this having spices, is because sulfur is going into this. Sulfur will fucking, like, just destroy everything. So I burn this outside, and a pinch of this, people, a pinch of this is going to fucking go a long, long way. To doing exactly what you want it to do. But knowing me, I'm probably gonna use like a fucking spoonful. Um, yeah, last night's video was like an hour fucking long and I was like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like no one's gonna sit there for an hour and watch me make a fucking oil. Like, come on now. And the entire time I was like looking at this, you know, one of my deity spirits was like all fucking laughing at me. And then they were fucking with me. They were like corrupting my files and I couldn't get it off my phone and I couldn't get it from one computer to the other. And then they finally let me do it. And then like they were freezing up my phone. And I was like, can we just stop for like two seconds so I can do this? Cause y'all wanted this. So y'all need to calm the fuck down. I will banish your ass. And then I realized whose spirits they were. And I was like, oh. But even that deity was like, cause it's it's his, it's his spirits. And, the, and he was all like, kind of angry that they were being dicks. And I was like, well, these are your spirits. So like, what the fuck? Anyways, we're gonna enchant this. Okay, so we got some good stuff in here. I don't know if I'm gonna need all of this though. Cause this is pretty damn potent as it is. Like I'm just getting the fucking willy jillies over here over this thing. Um, I don't know if this would be like a protection incense or like what the fuck it would be, but it is like, it's making my insides be like, holy shit, you know? We're gonna put in some Palo Santo wood. Cause Palo Santo wood is good. 
You know what I mean? But anyways, so after I did that video last night and after I fucking managed to get it on YouTube, um, everything started to quiet down and I got to work with this oil a little bit more. And I was really fucking happy that I got to work with this oil because it's just, I don't know. I just, I really like this oil. Like it just, it just feels right. You know, you know when you make something and it just feels right. It just feels like this is, this is it. This is the, this is the shit I needed to put in here for this to work the way I need it to work. You know what I mean? All I smell in this is sriracha. We're gonna put in some bone set cause bone set's good for removing shit that, you know, was placed on you. I'm actually gonna burn some on a coal. Bone set's really great for that. I'll just stir this around. Just kind of removing shit. You know, putting in the intentions of, you know, we're, we're removing shit. We're calling upon so-and-so, we're removing shit, we're sending it back, whatever it is. We're just kind of putting up a wall. We're just kind of, you know, really just being like, you fuck with me, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I have to imbue this with one of my deities. So give me a fucking moment. That was intense. That was intense. Holy shit. It's like, when I call upon this deity and I ask this deity to like enchant this and then, you know, I'm like, hey, can you enchant this? Can you be this? It's like the world stops and I just like fucking fade from, from here to wherever they are. And it's just like, hey, how are you? Here's an incense. Please imbue it. You know what I mean? Um, they don't want wormwood anymore or rue. Well, can we put in some mugwort? Psychic defenses, yo. I used mugwort in my oil to break through people's psychic defenses. But this one I'm actually using to put in psychic defenses. Don't you just love how mugwort is like a dual-edged sword? I can either cut you or I can protect you. So one or the other. I can sometimes do both. Just put out your wrists. Um, so just gonna put this around. Just gonna put this around. I'm gonna go this way a few times. Kinda cut up this mugwort a little bit. Is that it or do we want anything else? Oh no, we gotta put a little bit of this. Do 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 a little bit of this. Do 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 do. Okay, we good? We good? Everybody good? Excellent. Stir this up. 
great, fabulous. Let's enchant this. We're good. That's it. That's all there is to it. It's a super simple inset. It took some Palo Santo, some ginger, some eye bright, some slippery elm, some bone set, some juniper, some sulfur, paprika, red peppers, cayenne, and sriracha. And the incense for both deities. And then, you know, just like kind of imbuing. The fuck is this? Anyways, um, imbuing the incense. I mean, I still have to put some more stuff in, like not, you know, not physical stuff into it, but some more energy into it. But yeah, today is the day of the full moon and um, the servitor and I are gonna get together and again, I'm gonna cleanse him and feed him and chat and catch up and find out what's going on how things are going. And then I'm gonna burn some of this incense outside and it's gonna sit here though on this altar because these deities want to like put their stuff into it. And then that's about it. And then I just have to burn it outside. That's it, I just have to burn it outside, let it burn off. And then apparently It'll do its thing, they'll do their thing, life will be grand. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I like these deities, I do. I never thought I would ever be working with these deities, ever, and you know, one day I will talk about them. But right now, things are developing. They're always around, unlike the fucking saints who were never the fuck around when I needed them. It was always a fight. I'm telling you, angels are dicks with wings, and saints are no better. Um, they were never around unless they needed something, or I was desperate. Those were the only times they were around, is if they needed something or I was desperate. But these two deities are always around, always around. They're always here. One of them is always being like, we need you to make this or we need you to make that. Like they might be quiet, but they're here. You can feel their presence around you all the time. And then it's, it's, it's interesting because with the saints, I could never feel their fucking presence. I could always feel spirits, but then again, the saints and the spirits just never got along. Um, the spirits of one of the deities loves to fuck with me all the time just loves to fuck with me. And I'm just like, listen, bitch, you don't fuck with me, I fuck with you. <laughs> um, so there's that. I'm gonna put a little bit of rue on this coal. Cause rue is always good. But yeah, I was getting all kinds of messages last night. I was getting all kinds of like, communications and it was really fucking epic. I was up to like two in the morning and then I went to sleep and they were like, no, you gotta make this incense. I was like, it's fucking two in the morning. I'll make it in the morning. And they're like, fine. And then they woke me up at six and they're like running the recipe through my brain, but they wanted me to get wormwood and rue for some reason. And I don't know what that's for or if they just decided to change their mind and be like, we don't need this. Because wormwood was gonna be used to 
Oh my god. <coughs> Fucking sneezing all over the place here. I think it's because I mix this around and the sriracha dust gets everywhere. <laughs> Anyways, um, Rue was gonna be used for protection and so was Wormwood, but I guess the spirits just feel like there is enough in here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we've made this incense. Hopefully this video is not like a fucking hour long and that's the end of that story. But yeah, I just thought I would come on and make this incense and chit chat with you guys a little bit about shit that's going on. Trying to plan my Las Vegas trip in July. I'm gonna drive all the way from Canada all the way down to Nevada. It's like a 19 hour fucking drive, but you know, we're gonna do it. Only gonna go for four days though. I really just want to go to Las Vegas to get a fucking giant thing of margarita and go out on the street and be like, I'm in America where I can buy guns and drink booze. Can't do that in Canada. Well, okay, you can drink booze in Canada and you can buy guns in Canada, but we're like way more strict on everything. Whereas in America, it's like, I can do whatever I want. So, Kind of excited for that. Oh, I was gonna tell you guys a story. So the last time I was in the States, uh, it was in December and we were in Montana and I walk into Target and the first thing I see is a bottle of champagne and a shotgun. And I'm like, the fuck? And so like, then I'm going through like the chip aisle and there's like, you guys have some weird fucking chips and weird fucking candy, but so I'm like looking at this and then on the other side is all booze. And then at the back is all guns. And I'm like, and like, and then, the, and then there's, they had ammunition behind the counter, but it was like fucking weird. I was like, oh my God, did I just walk into the twilight zone? So yeah, it was, it was pretty, it was pretty exciting. Our drive to Las Vegas will take us through uh, Montana again. We could go through a different border crossing, but it's only open from like 7 a.m. to like midnight, whereas the Sweetgrass border crossing is open 24 hours. So we're just gonna go through there and go down through Helena again, and then switch over from Helena and go through the mountains again and go down to Nevada. It'll be fun. And if I speed, I should be at the border by like 4 a.m. because we're gonna leave midnight the night before. And then that means it's only like a 15 hour drive. So 12 would be four in the afternoon. Another three would be there by about seven at night the next day. Yeah, it's gonna be a long drive and I'm gonna be fucking tired, but what the fuck do I care? Fuck do I care? Anyways, I gotta go because I got other shit I gotta do today and this incense is made and it's gotta sit here and the deities gotta bless it and do their shit to it because that's what they wanna do. And this oil, I can like actually take off the altar now, which is really fucking nice because I can put it with my other oils. And I will see you all maybe tomorrow because I, I, I like I'm being told to do that spell tomorrow. So I might just pop on and fucking do that spell and chit chat with you guys and see what's up and all that other fun stuff. And if not, then I'll see you when I see you. Okay, love, love.